arrived in Manama, capital of Bahrain. Um, it's really hot outside, but I'm going to go and brave it. So here we are in the streets of Manama. Pretty similar to Doha, Kuwait, the rest of them really. If I've got my bearings right, this road here should take me all the way down to the Corniche. Uh, so let's find out. So there's the call to prayer. And uh, from the mosque, and obviously behind it, there's the uh, Twin Towers, powered by wind turbines. There you are, it's bloody hot, bloody hot. The only way to keep any semblance of coolness is to keep on walking. I'm actually going to try to find the uh, Bahrain National Museum. Just spotted my first camel in Bahrain. Massive hotel there. I'm going to try to go in and go to the top to see to take some photographs. <laughs> Not holding out much hope though. Well, I'm in. It's called the Domain. It's very posh. 35th floor. Look, whoa. Time I was here, I never got anywhere up high like this, so this is really, really good. This road here, if you carry on right across it, it comes to a bridge and then you go to Saudi Arabia. You actually get loads of people from Saudi Arabia coming over here uh, to booze because you can't get it in Saudi Arabia. But annoyingly, I think that's the museum over there, but I can't get to it because of that fence in the middle. So I've got to walk all the way down here in this blazing heat. Well, I managed to cross on that thing. Oh, I had to walk miles. Finally got across anyway, so I only reached the Arabian Sea, the Gulf. I'm bloody hot. Made it. There's the entrance. So, yep, costumes. More costumes. Somewhere around the back of the museum. Um, look at that statue. And that one there is dedicated to pearl fishermen. He's got his great for the pearls there. Got a peg over his nose. So yeah, I think I'll go back into the museum now and have a look around some of the things. It's getting too hot. Okay, back inside. I'm not sure what all these models are for. We're in the room of pots. Okay, like I'm in a room of crafts and things. The barber. Let's see what's going on down here. A tinker. Some pearls, big business in um, Bahrain. It's got the history of them. There is Polymore. model of a dow there and the water I tell you what it's full of sharks okay these are burial mounds I thought that lizard was um, a real one at first but it's obviously not looks real it says here that this it's like a 4,000 year old grave, but then the bloke there, he was 40, they said, and um, he died. And his two children were buried next to him, but they died before him as, children, as babies. So look, they are the burial mounds. So yeah, it's fairly interesting in this room. Um, Especially considering when I first came in, I just thought it was like a pile of rubble. And I was thinking, what's that for? But yeah, now I know. The problem with a lot of these Gulf states is there's nowhere to cross. Look, there's a crossing here. 
but no one's stopping. I've been stood here for ages. This is just ridiculous. As you can see, I'm the only one walking in Manama. Everyone else is in a car. I wish I was. McLaren shop. Yeah, quite fancy that. There's the World Trade Centre. The most iconic site in Manama. My god, I'm sat <coughs> in Hardy's. I had to just stop. I thought I was going to die of heat exposure. <coughs> oh, I still feel pretty bad. It's just so hot. And I've walked for miles. I'm just wandering around Manama Souk. Same as all the rest. It's not really traditional, it's just usual. Well, I think um, that's it for now. I'm just so worn out. I'm bothered. <coughs> so I think we might just go back to the hotel.